Oma mpenyi na nadu dan kwe kufwado ama mantam asuwa fuma kuma ku iduno. Woma asuwa kufilimu eswa ewo flagstaff hausa. Woba bedi juma ewo gana mantam ahuro idua ewo meyi emo. Ebro ma mpenyi na nadu dan kwe kufwado ediwe nim ama mpenyi ufwe eswa eno. Wedi ya futu ama wawonse ema wawonko ye ahuma subia. Ema wawonko ye di wankasa anso epe ewo mantam no emo. Wokwa wawonse na nanu hinfo ewo ho. Ama mreni ya mani enso ewo ho. Wunchi bu ema. Nafi wamre wawonwase emfa sumpa ema omanfo. Eno dan chenso si NPP ya bano e bano wase omanfo bo bibri e ni swadi hununu e drosun omanfo e shenye ma pa bibri kwa nso e fi wamo enche e nti wamo ya ne musifo e di ma ono omanpe ina nadu dan kwe kufadono wanshe se e ni ma pa isi ne ni so nana bano so e shenye kwa nso obetu mi edu hono wamo beshe aye nguwe juma pepe pepe e di abuano let me congratulate each one of you and wish you godspeed in the discharge of your functions i'm confident that with God's guidance, you will succeed. According to the Constitution of the Republic, in Article 256, you are firstly the President's representatives in your various regions. And secondly, you are responsible for the coordination and direction of the administrative machinery in your regions. The net effect of these constitutional provisions is that you are the face and body, the eyes and ears of the president in your region. You have to project my vision, my values, my policy, and my spirit in your region. These are all embodied in the manifesto of the new patriotic party. You know my resolve. It is to provide good, honest government for our people, which will enable our economy to recover and grow rapidly, to create jobs, especially for our young people, and to generate prosperity for the mass of our people in conditions of freedom and responsibility. It is a tall order but one which the decisive, emphatic mandate we, the MPP and I, received on 7 December 2016, obliges us to deliver. We have no other choice. I ask for your full cooperation in delivering our mandate. We have given a pledge to our people that we will be honest in our dealings with the public purse entrusted to our care, and we have to live up to it.